Hello, racing fans, and a warm welcome to Trackside, proudly brought to you by World Sports Betting. Bet with the best. Bet with WSB. I trust you, the valued racing fan, as well, and having a good time if you're on holiday over this festive season. And uh, if you're playing uh, on WSB, whatever you may be playing, it may not be the horses, maybe you're a sports lover, or you're one that likes the numbers, or even the casino, hopefully it's turning out to be a profitable December uh, wherever you are playing. So, um, what's happening on this weekend show? Well, it is a double header on Saturday the 23rd. We race at the Big T and at Hollywood Bets Kettleworth. And then on Sunday, which will be Christmas Eve, we race at Hollywood Bets Scottsville. Yeah, I've had a look at both uh, cards uh, on Saturday and the card on Sunday. And what we've done is, as always, we've got four horses to follow. Two travels up on the World Sports Betting menu, and hopefully everything falls into place on the weekend. And uh, let's get straight into it with our four horses to follow. And we'll begin on Saturday, where I've picked out two horses at Hollywood Bets Kenilworth. And the first comes up in race number four. And yes, it's the obvious horse, uh, number five, Fodre, who we've gone for in the past. And... Uh, He's let uh, Trackside down, and I'm sure you've gone for him. He's let you down. He's let many of his followers down. He's been costly to follow after that promising introduction. Um, you know, 1,400 meters, he was beaten third, and then last time out when stretched over 2,000 meters, it was not the distance at all. He just won one better on the day. Well, this time round, there's going to be no excuses. Now, why do I say that? It's because of uh, two factors. Factor number one is that immediately after his running of his last start, in fact, two days later, he was gelded. He was gelded on the 31st of October. So he looked like a horse that needed gelding, just the way he raced. But I think the big factor for me is the change of course. Hollywood bets Durbanville is a tighter track than Hollywood bets Kenilworth. And he'll be having his first run at Hollywood Bets Kenilworth this time round. So this 1400 meter trip will be no issue. When trying to assess the opposition, I must admit there is some form amongst a few of the runners, but he is the horse that will possibly set the standard on what he's shown to date. But uh, more importantly, the fact that he is gelded and he's now racing for the first time at Hollywood Bets Kenilworth. There will be no excuses this time round. It'll be the last time that we'll be tipping him in the maiden ranks on the show. Number five, Ford Bray. And I'm expecting him to win this and win as well. So I'm going in very confidently this time round at number four, race ball, horse number five, Ford Ray. And then it's quick and fast at Hollywood Bets Kenilworth. It comes up in race number five, which is over 1400 meters. And again, it is a small field of eight runners that go to post, but there is some form to work around. There's some horses that are in very good form. But I like the look of the, the Philly Cole Montalina, Vaughan Marshall's runner with Ashton Aries up. Now, she's had three excellent post maiden runs, a second, a fourth, and a second. And a last start to where she was poorly drawn, seven out of the eight runners in that small field at Hollywood Bets Durbanville. She set last for most of the way. She only started to gain ground over the final 300 meters or so, and she was a length and a half behind Brett Crawford's run on Japanese Row, who I know uh, tried in the Group 1 Cape Phillies Guineas. That's where she was tried in next time out. It was no show from her, but nevertheless, it was worth trying to see where she fits in the pecking order amongst the three-year-old fillies. But uh, coming back to Montalina, from her last start, what does enhance that form line is that Miss Greenlight was sixth in that race, beaten three and a half lengths, came out next time out and absolutely uh, uh, trounced the opposition. I think she won about three lengths, easing up Miss Greenlight. She was a very good winner out of that form line behind Japanese Road. And when I have a look at this fillies rating, which is an 88 and she's carrying 52 and a half here on a back 52 and a half against this type of field i think that she is very capable of achieving much higher than this 88 on what i've seen to date especially her runs out the maidens and again just like we've mentioned with ford ray in the previous race you look at her last three starts she's been racing in hollywood bets durbanville 
a tighter track. I think she'll appreciate the conditions at Hollywood Bets, Kenilworth. So I'm also very strong on her race number five, horse number eight, Montalina. So races four and five at Hollywood Bets, Kenilworth. Uh, the double is on and they'll be part of the trackside trebles. But for you, the exotic player, only you can possibly take a chance. Go banker, banker in that pick six and possibly play wide in the next four legs. So those are the two runners at Hollywood Bets, Kenilworth. On the same day, we race at Turfentine, and I've just gone with one runner. There are three feature races on the day, and one of our runners comes up in the feature race. It's the Betway Labello Sprint to Group 3, over 1,000 meters. Now, in this race, I think they all have to beat one horse. Number four, rulership from the Tony Peters table. Just have a look at what he's achieved thus far since he's moved to the high felt. Two runs for trainer Tony Peter, and they've both been very good victories. So he was a horse that was, you know, rated by the Miller Yard, but he just seemed to have changed gears now that he's moved to the high felt. His first week for Tony Peter, it was slightly slow away, but made up the ground in a matter of strides. At the 400, he was already in front and won as he wished. And then last time out, Calvin Abib, who had a good feel for him, just let him use that stride, and uh, he could have won, uh, I think, bigger than that margin. But what was most impressive on that last win is the time. Uh, you look at the winner's time, which is 55.3 seconds, and then the 400 to finish, which is 21.6 seconds, and you just have a look at what is the course record. Well, the course record is just under 55 seconds, 54.96 seconds, which was... Uh, by a medical flight back in 2007. So that was an exceptionally good time from number four, rulership. And uh, I expect him just to continue his winning ways and it's his race to lose here. Uh, the Libello Sprint sponsored by Betway in race number seven. I think number four, rulership on what I've seen to date and with all due respect to the opposition here, yeah, it looks really hard to oppose if he just continues in the manner that he's done for trainer. Tonal Peter. So we got those that one run up on Turfentine and then just the one run up and Hollywood Bet Scottsville on Sunday. And it comes up in race number four. Now, this horse I think will be a decent price. It comes up in race number four. It's a maiden plate over 1600 meters. And the horse that I picked out here is called Sweeper Keeper. Wendy Whitehead, excellent form. Sri Lomodli, well, he's riding with confidence. And he's got to know this individual at his last two starts. The son of Kirari was gelded on the 5th of September 2023. So you look at his form, he's at four runs to date. He was gelded early September. He's had two runs back since. His first start, he was drawn 12 out of 12 over 1,200 meters at Hollywood Bets Grave. From last, finished fifth, wasn't beaten far behind Boyan Knight. And then last time out, stepped him up in distance over 1,400 meters. Again, unfortunate, drawn 10 out of 10. Last, turning into the straight or towards the back of the field, turning to the straight, and he was starting to pass the Spragglers and uh, ran third behind the Shepherd. It's now a massive drawstring around for the source. Yes, it's a different track. It's Hollywood Bed, Scottsville. But the fact is he goes 1,600 meters and gets a draw, draw number two. And having watched him race over 12 and 1400 meters, I have no doubt that this eight furlongs is going to suit him and suit him much better than the shorter distances have had. So having his third run back from Galdi, going over 1600, gets a good draw. I think this horse is going to be a decent price, a generous price in race number four, horse number two, sweeper keeper, which I like and I like a lot over 1,600 meters in that fourth race. And that is it, guys. Uh, our four horses to follow. Two at Hollywood Bets, Kenilworth on Saturday, one at Turfentine on Saturday, and one at Hollywood Bets, Scottsville on Sunday. Those are the four horses. Two trebles will be up on the World Sports Betting menu. And all that's left for me to say is on behalf of World Sports Betting, thanks to all the punters, but more importantly and more especially, Thanks to you, the valued customer. I trust that you 
all are having a safe and enjoyable sunny season bringing in christmas and of course uh, looking forward to bringing in 2024 and i'd just like to wish you the valued racing fan all the best of uh, this festive season to yourself your family your loved ones and uh, wish you all the best over christmas and uh, wish you good punty you know that is what it's about at uh, this time of the year if you can make some extra cash it really helps uh during december and of course january but uh, that is a wrap of this weekend's uh track side and until we meet again we will have a show uh, next week of course we'll be bringing in 2024 from ourselves these dine and world sports betting and the entire team you take care salani gosh